We are tracking some breaking news this morning here on Up With Crim as fire crews are now on the scene of a commercial building fire in downtown Spokane. Yeah, that's right. So this morning we do want to get right to our coverage. Nicole Hernandez is at that fire. She's been gathering information for us. Nicole, what have you learned since we last checked in with you? Tim and Janning, so this fire is still actively burning right now. We have Brian Schaefer here with us. He has some information about what we know so far. Not much, obviously, at this point, because it is still active. But what did crews show up to this morning? Well, they were dispatched here at 422 in the morning to a report of a fire in the alley. They had fire that was actually coming up through the ceiling and showing from what was a storage facility and a parking garage. So it was occupied with heavy combustibles, but no humans, thankfully. The, the incident was upgraded eventually to a third alarm. We were able to isolate that fire to that building. We had a little bit of extension into the building that you see directly behind us, but we were able to stop it before it grew too big and it did not uh, make its way to the Carlisle hotel or apartment or, or building where we have some at-risk individuals. So all those people were evacuated, protected. We're gonna have a presence here until about noon with 70 firefighters and obviously the fire apparatus. So if you're getting dressed this morning, definitely factor in a little bit of extra time. If you work downtown, SDA has been rerouted and um, yeah, we'll have more information as the morning goes on. Perfect, thank you so much, Brian. I'll have us step out of the way here so that we can get a look at what the fire is looking like right now. But take a look here behind me. You can see just how much smoke there is pluming up from this alleyway here, just for some perspective as to where we are right now. We're at Monroe and First, right where the roadway alley is, is where this is happening. Some businesses right around this area. First Ave Coffee, Heritage Bar and Kitchen, One Tree Cider House. This is kind of the spot that we're at right now. Like Brian mentioned, Monroe here is completely closed right now. Lincoln will be affected as well as they're fighting from both sides of the fire at this point. We have several crews up high fighting it from up high, fighting it from the sides in between the different alleyways as well. If you are in this area, you will notice from pretty uh, far away this plume of smoke, especially as the sun starts to rise this morning. So make sure you're aware of that if you are going to be here in downtown at any point this morning. Uh, but like Brian mentioned, still figuring out exactly what happened. We don't know that, but they will figure that out as they get this fire under control. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Prep 2 News. Nicole, thank you. Our team coverage continues now. Malia Kamal also at the scene of the fire. Malia, wh what are you seeing from where you are this morning? Tim, I am seeing a lot. Let me just tell you, the roads are blocked off. Monroe is blocked off and the surrounding roads are also blocked off. There is heavy smoke in the area that has taken over the downtown area. Now there's about at least two dozen uh, fire trucks on the scene and you know I've been a journalist for about seven years and I've covered a lot of fires and let me tell you this one is probably the worst one I've seen it looks like a war zone um, we looped around a couple blocks and let me tell you it's just not a, uh, if you guys have like a morning commute in the downtown area find a different route because it's just you can the visibility is bad uh, smoke is everywhere roads are blocked off and just avoid the downtown area for now. Of course, we will keep you updated on this breaking news story and give you all the information as we gather it. Live in Spokane, Malia Kamal, Krem 2 News. Thank you, Malia. Now, before we let you go really quickly, did you have any trouble getting to that area this morning? I know you had to commute in to try and get to the scene where it's still active. Did you have any problems getting around there? I did not. I did not. But I left before this happened. So I um, but I do take Monroe and let me tell you, Monroe right now is blocked off to uh, the public and it's for several blocks and it's the, also the surrounding streets on each side that is parallel to Monroe. So just avoid the area. But uh, it seems like there's a lot of curious drivers driving around and uh, that's just uh, something that I guess folks should keep in mind when they're making their commute this morning. All right, thank you so much, Malia.